Let me show you a few different ways that you can use the Gemini chatbot in order to translate kind of anything that you want on the internet. So here I've navigated to the app at gemini.google.com and I'm going to use the first method, which is the copy and paste method to paste in some translation that I want to translate to English. So I've navigated over to the Spanish version of CNN and I'm gonna copy the headline and see what exactly it says in English. So I'll highlight the whole headline and hit control C on my keyboard. Then I'll go back to Gemini, and here I need to ask it to translate this into English. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting by saying translate the following into English. Otherwise, the Gemini has no idea what I want it to do. It's just pasting in a headline. It doesn't know that I actually want it translated. Then I put a comma and then quotation marks, and then I'm going to paste in that headline in between the quotation marks. So I'll hit Control V on my keyboard to paste that in, and then I'll hit Enter, and then it just translates the headline for me. So you can see it says Brazil will open in the OPEC plus group, which is made up of the world's leading oil exporting countries. Sounds riveting to me, I guess. I don't know, not really. But we can continue doing this with the entire article if we want. Here I just copied the headline, but if I scroll down, this is a long article here. I can select the whole thing and then right click and hit copy, go back to Gemini, put in our same prompt with the quotation marks and then paste in between the quotation marks. Now I'll hit enter and it's going through its process of actually translating the whole thing. What's nice is it's a long article, but it's only showing what I've inputted in this small little box. We have to expand it in order to see the whole article. For some reason, it responded to me in Spanish. I'm not really sure why, but it's saying clear. Here's the translation in English of the text uh, that you pasted. And then it looks like it got the entire article. Now, sometimes the translation might be a little bit finicky. It might not be as good as you expect it to be. And there are some phrases that might not translate well. And you can ask it, hey, can you rephrase this so that I can understand it in my language? The next thing I wanna do is I have this image of this restaurant and it has a bunch of Korean written on it, but I don't know what the Korean is. Well, thankfully we can just upload this image and then ask Gemini to translate the entire menu for us. So again, I'm typing in the prompt, translate this image to English so I can understand it. And I then click on this button next to the prompt saying to upload an image. Once I've uploaded the image, I can hit enter and it will start analyzing the image and give me the translation back. So here it's translating the whole thing, even like this funny little phrase that it had, let's take pizza and go to the Han River. I don't know, it must be specific for this restaurant. Anyways, if we scroll down, we can see what the pizzas are and they're in order from what they're listed. So the first one was pepperoni. The second one is garlic bulgogi or Bulgogi is a Korean marinated beef dish, interesting. And it translated every single one of these pizzas. It even translated the abbreviations for like large and regular sized. So that is how you can translate pretty much anything on the internet, including images inside of the Gemini chatbot app.